And uh, hi, we're here at the ID Tech X show. And who are you? Hi, my name is Ryan Moore from HZO. HZO is a company we waterproof electronics, protecting them from harsh environments. We've all been there where we have an electronic that maybe we're sitting in the bath or, or um, by, by the pool, and all of a sudden it slips out of our hands. But with HZO, we have a waterproof coating that we apply during the manufacturing process that can actually protect it. This is an e-reader, uh, a Rakuten Kobo e-reader. We apply our micron thin coating on the internal circuitry of the device. This is just one of the, the customers that we work with. We're actually found, according to the good e-reader, uh, we're responsible for 80% of all waterproof e-readers on the market. So right here, 80% of all waterproof e-readers. Is that true? That is true, yep. As that's uh, how many e-readers are waterproof? I don't know the exact number, but I know that we protect millions of devices every year. It's not just e-readers. We're working with high-end uh, audio devices, um, phones. We're also doing protection in other markets as well. IoT, medical, automotive, all of those things. And um, here's, uh, is this how stuff is happening? Do you have those kinds of ovens or something like that? that what, what puts this is a nano coating something? This is how a, does it work? This is a video of our process. Essentially, we work with manufacturers, we're a turnkey solution, we apply the equipment, the processes, the people, and the material to be able to apply this coating onto the circuitry of a device. Is this in Shenzhen? This, this particular one um, is in Shenzhen or Shanghai, yes. All right, and then uh, you work with any kind of uh, manufacturer that does any kind of electronics, and you put them through your process to make them waterproof. Exactly, yeah. So, so we can coat them ourselves or we can be integrated into a factory. Uh, we, our, our specialty is doing high throughput devices. And so, like I said, we do millions of devices a year. And applying to the protection levels that people need. There's a little motherboard. This is a, a Raspberry Pi computer that's actually running this video here. And they just... Do you need a special waterproof cable to make this work? Or? No, no, for this, uh, we were just able to coat it all together. You just coat a fun the cable demonstration. Too. Yes. So how many cables do you do? Lots of cables? Well, for this, we, we actually just sealed around the, the HDMI cable. But, but the coating itself is on the PCB, which is illustrative of what we do. How long does it stay there? It stays forever? Yeah, I mean, this is, uh, this is in good old-fashioned Santa Clara Convention Center bathroom water. And uh, it'll, it'll sit in there for hours at a time. We take these to, to all different shows, so it'll stay in for, for hours and hours, no problem. So there's one device that I really, really, really am excited about, the Cosmo Communicator. They have a little keyboard. And do you think if the device has a keyboard, you can do stuff with this the same way? Or yeah, yeah, Because I mean, the keyboard is a lot of traveling, a lot of scratching of the PCB behind, maybe. What if you scratch your coding off? Does, does um, that not happen? I, I, Typically, our, our, our coatings are very resilient, and they're all on the inside of the device, and so, th so they're not really exposed to any sort of scratching or human handling. Keyboard is definitely something we could look into. Have you done any keyboard devices before? Um, not that I can recall. So it's mostly like smartphone, tablet kind of things? Any sort of uh, internal circuitry that needs protection. We've also done, um, like I said, automotive sensors. We've done security cameras. Uh, anything that needs to be protected from the elements. Uh, sweat, um, salt water, uh, oil, engine oils, things like that we can protect against. So how long have you been doing this tech? Uh, HCO has been around since 2011. Um, millions and millions of devices are waterproof, totally waterproof, not just like uh, water resistant or something, just waterproof. Yeah, it's, it's according to, to the demands of, of, the, of the manufacturer, what they're looking to protect against. So for example, the Rakuten Kobo e-reader, we protect an IPX8, which is basically goes beyond one meter and a half an hour. So anything beyond one meter and a half an hour. Meter and a half, actually. So if you fall asleep by the pool and you find it's in the bottom of the pool, yeah. you, it might be fine. It might be fine, yep. It's pretty awesome. Yeah, it's great technology. It's something that we need. We're taking our devices more places than ever, and they definitely need to be protected because we're, we're putting a lot of investment in them and a lot of critical information. So HEO protects what's most important to you. Is there like some kind of statistic in terms of uh, uh, how much waterproofiness you can guarantee over a period of time or something like that? I mean, that, that's really up to the manufacturer, the, the levels of protection they're looking to protect against. We're able to warranty our protection with our manufacturers. Nice. Um, that's, it, it should be in everything, no? 
Yeah, we think so for sure. Because I mean, it's, it's better than the other ways of doing waterproof that are like sealing off stuff. Yeah, the benefits of this over things like mechanical seals is, is typically when we think of waterproof, we think of trying to keep water outside of a device. But the problem with that is sometimes we drop our device and that can break the seal or in extreme temperatures they can expand or contract those seals. The benefit of our protection is that the coating is on the inside. So even if water gets inside, like we have on this e-reader here, the water can actually go inside of there. And it's the, the circuit board inside is protected and that's what matters. Um, so I've seen uh, one competitor, I think it's called P2i, right? Is it uh, similar technology or are you very different? P2i is more of along the lines of uh, plasma-based technology, more hydrophobic. Uh, HCO offers a wide variety of protective coatings. Um, we, we have what we call a spectrum of protection. So, so basically customers can come to us and, and give us the specific protection that they need, uh, whether it be against sweat, full submersion, or merely hydrophobic properties, we can protect against it. Is it expensive or it's actually not expensive and it's a no-brainer for every electronic device? It depends how many you do, right? Yeah, I mean, it, 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 we feel it's a no-brainer. Um, in many cases, we're able to protect um, beating the cost of mechanical seals and other efforts. People see the benefit of working with us and, and, and obviously the cost makes sense because we're, we're dealing with some of the top companies around the world. But uh, let's say one of these devices that sells millions of devices from huge brand or something like that, it'd be, it wouldn't be like a break in the, the speed of their production to do this or you can scale to any kind of demand? We can definitely scale. I mean, our, our process, that's what really makes us, um, makes us unique is that we're able to scale with our manufacturers to be able to meet their demand. And here with the ID Tech X, there's lots of flexible electronics kind of stuff. Is this great for that too? Can you get on all this stuff? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, we, the benefit of working with HCO is that we can sit down with your engineers and look at what you're looking to protect and we take our, our, our expertise and come up with a great plan for manufacturing to, to offer the protection that you're looking for. And uh, are there other competitors too or is it just very, very few that know how to do this kind of stuff? We, obviously, for protection is something that, that everybody needs to, to be careful of. HCO offers a spectrum of protection, meeting the demands of whatever a customer needs. Cool, awesome. I think uh, as a no-brainer, the, the planet is mostly water. We need to be sure that <laughs> exactly. it's fine, right? Yep, exactly. All right.